it's really important, even with shorter pitchers, that we stay tall. Our biggest advantage as a pitcher is that they give us a mound. They give us a mound so that we have an advantage over the hitters. What I see a lot of young guys do, either initially or at some point in their mechanics, is they collapse this backside. Now, not only does that cause the entire mechanical movement to break down, but even if we could still throw a strike, we've lowered our release point to the point where we now sacrifice a lot of that tilt and a lot of that downward flight we can get. So really important, and we're going to talk more about generating power, but as we get to this balance point, we're going to stay nice and tall. We're going to use the mound to our advantage and create some more tilt. Let's avoid that dip and stay nice and tall at our first balance point, and then as we move on to our second balance point, being powerful but not collapsing. So let's watch Jesse. This time he's going to lift his leg the right way, his front leg, but as he does that, he's going to collapse the back, the back leg. You're going to see what this looks like. Go ahead, Jesse. So lift. Kind of collapsed exactly. So what we see happening there is the whole operation sort of collapses. You can see his shoulders start to tilt and we get in a lot of trouble. Rather than, come on back up, Jesse, lifting that front side but staying tall and staying strong with the back side that's going to give us the best chance of not only keeping our balance but throwing downhill to the target instead of dropping and throwing up. Mm -hmm.